Welcome back Kiwi Yoinkers and all other folk to Sunsaw Gaming and another episode of Don't Die, Reposition. Um, and today I'm in the Dracula and the reason I'm in the Dracula is because I'm getting all of my tanks that I currently have in my garage to 100 battles. But we are in the Dracula and we are here on Mayan Ruins. Now, looking at the team lineup, we have more heavies than they do. Um, I mean there's only two of us mediums against three of theirs. So coming out this way is always going to be risky. Uh, it could end up a three on two battle, but you know when you look at your team and they're splitting and they're coming your way, you can get yourself into these kinds of positions. Now, I made a mistake here because the Dracula is so quick and it does get to positions faster. I wasn't ready for that guy. Um, I pulled out just a touch too soon, and I take a nasty couple of rounds for it. Um, so already we're not in a good position here, but. I'm going to keep this position because at the moment we've only seen three of their tanks. Um, one of them being this SU-100 who is going to charge in and just try to, I don't know, YOLO and die. Um, anyway, I'm still here, we've spotted a lot more of their team and now I've realised that they are all here. Uh, I fired way too late on that shot but you know what, things happen. Um, now it's getting real dicey in this area, there are a lot of tanks here and not much support. So don't die, reposition, get out of there. And I mean, you can do this in any light or medium tank, get out of there and reposition. Now I'm just going to go right up the top, around the back here and start working at some side shots on these guys. Or at least that was my plan until I saw this lone KV-1S. Now I've got help here from this M445. So we're just going to take him down. Um, I'm going to bait a shot and we're going to go in for him. Thankfully the KV-1S misses. I uh, did not really want to get shot in the side by that. It would have really, really ruined my health hit points. But he did miss and it gives my teammate there the chance to push up over that ridge. Get his gun depression down. And we're just going to finish this guy off before we go back into the battle. Now, I'm still alive and... So is this guy that I've just helped out. Because we're both still help, healthy, our team has a very good chance of winning this. I mean, they're injured, they're wounded. Um, I'm probably the worst off on my team for hit points at the moment. Except for that guy who just got whopped out of existence. Um, but I've repositioned, I'm out of there, and now I'm able to be back here, firing shots down onto the enemy team that pushed me out of position. If I had stayed down there I would have died, I would have died very quick and there's no way I would have got the damage out. Um, there's no way I would have been any help to my team by trying to hold that position and dying. So repositioning guys is a massive thing. Be aware of where the enemy tanks are on the map and I'm glad that shell went through everything there was red. Um, I just wanted to fire to get him back off so as he wouldn't shoot my teammate, but he shot my teammate anyway. Um, bait a nice shot from him there, unfortunately I did pull back too far and the AT-8 gets a shot on me. But again, I'm going to ignore the AT-8, I'm going to not die facing him, I'm going to reposition. Now, my teammate there, he's still got more health than him, my other teammate that I saved up the top, the M445, is coming in behind the AT-8. So I'm going to go and deal with this Cromwell, because I don't want him doing what I'm doing. Um, I mean, he's repositioning at the moment. And because he's doing that, I want to stop him, because I don't want him coming in on another flank and killing my teammates. Um, now, while I'm doing this, I am keeping an eye on the minimap. I do realise that my teammate there has just died, and I'll take a quick look here, just to make sure that my last teammate's going to survive this battle. Um, and he's still looking very, very healthy. He does kill the enemy heavy tank there, which is awesome. And now he's just got a healthy AT-8. Hopefully I can get there in time to save him um, and finish off this AT-8. I mean, if I did not do this, that reposition at the start, I wouldn't be in the current position I am here to be able to help out my teammate, and it could be very bad for him. Now, kudos to the AT-8. Shooting me was the right right idea um, unfortunately he needed more than one to get me um, and I'm here now because I repositioned at the start and I'm still alive I keep my hit points and I went and helped this guy out I was able to help him win the game 
Now, if that 88 had stayed in front of him and I didn't show up, he probably could have killed the M445. So that is repositioning, guys. Don't die. Reposition. Um, I mean, if you like this video or any of my content, the sound of my voice, whatever, feel free to like and subscribe to my videos. Um, as you can see there, 2,700 damage and 4 kills. Top of my team. Great work to uh, to my team. You all played very well. The heavies held that front as long as they could after I uh, ducked out of there to reposition. And that, again, helped our team win because they played their tanks correctly. Um, and so did I. So did everybody on our team. We played very well. It was great. Um, until next time, guys. Thank you.